Friedman, who is a former ambassador to Israel, and uh, North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer. Gentlemen, welcome. I appreciate it very much. Uh, Senator Kramer, if I may begin with you, uh, there is a Senate resolution that you and Lindsey Graham and others are cooking up. Uh, I read some things about it. It seems very powerful. Could you just give us a debriefing, sir? Sure. Well, first of all, every Republican but once has signed on to this resolution that Senator Graham, Lindsey Graham, has put forward. And basically, it condemns the president, President Biden, for um, reneging on this deal and, and withholding the uh, many of these important weapon systems, one of which, by the way, is this kit that's called JDAM, uh, you know, the Joint Direct Attack Munitions, which turns a dumb bomb into a precision missile. So if you have a, a, a dumb bomb and you turn it into a precision bomb, the, the reality is not only do you kill more of the bad guys, but you you uh, save many more uh, civilians, which is what I always thought was one of the things the Biden administration wanted to do. So we're just putting, we're calling him out on it. Um, he's violating the, the principles that the vast majority of Congress passed. We passed this um, with a great deal of political risk to several people, not to me. Uh, I've always been for, for this package, this supplemental defense package, but he's violating the deal that he, you know, pounded on and pounded on Republicans for for months until we finally get a, a politically plausible and passable deal. And then now he already pulls a rug out from under our most precious friend in the Middle East, if not in the world, the people of Israel. Just to quickly, Senator Kramer, uh, have, have you all sent the letter? Is, I mean, was it a formal letter received by the uh, president? <clears throat> It's a, it's a Senate resolution, ah, actually, okay. uh, that, that uh, we have authored. We started out as a letter, turned it into a resolution. Yes, sir. Uh, Ambassador David Friedman, welcome back uh, on a difficult situation, but we appreciate your time. The point that Kevin Kramer just made, I think, is very important. It was a point that General Keene made to us uh, the other night. And there's a write-up in Breitbart today, uh, which has excellent news coverage. Precision bombs would be the most helpful if you're worried about civilians, number one, and secondly, Israeli soldiers. I mean, people are saying that without these precision bombs, Israeli soldiers are going to have to go into buildings, hand-to-hand -hand combat, more of them are going to be killed. Usually, they take a precision bomb and knock out a building. They will warn the civilians to get out of the building, and they knock down the building. This approach by the Biden embargo is going to do the exact reverse. More civilians will be killed. More Israeli soldiers will be killed. What do you think about that whole conundrum? Well, I, you're absolutely right. And, and I have to say my gratitude to Senator Kramer and to the entire Republican caucus, uh, minus one for standing with Israel, because Israel feels very isolated right now, and they, and they really need they really need the support. But you're, you're right. I mean, you know, the, the, the consequence here, by the way, is not that Israel's going to take a bunch of dumb bombs and drop them on Rafa, because no matter what Biden says, Israel doesn't play that way. Israel's mm -hmm. ethics don't permit them to simply indiscriminately kill uh, civilians, notwithstanding the accusations from Joe Biden. So what they're going to do, they're going to send in more soldiers in ground warfare, uh, in a place where Hamas has probably the greatest home court advantage anywhere in the world, given their 350-mile network of terror tunnels. And so Israeli soldiers are going to die, unfortunately, more than, than already have. We've looked, you know, this, by the way, this has been the deadliest year in the state of Israel in the last 50 years. Mm. So it's already, you know, mm. the, the country's already suffering from massive trauma. But there are 4,000 armed terrorists in Rafah. Uh, four battalions with command and control, with the leaders of Hamas there. If Israel does not eliminate Hamas, you know, God help all of us. God help America, because these people hate America as well. And who knows how many of them are hanging around uh, in our country now because of the open border. So we have to win this war, and Biden has done everything to lose it. You know, just um, just a few hours ago from Rafa, from Rafa, a big barrage of rockets uh, came out against Beersheba, Israel's largest city in the south, mm. of course, because they have nothing to worry about. There's not going to be any response because Israel hasn't been given the weapons. Right. This is a mess. Let me right. let me just quickly play. This is a key point that General Keene made, I believe, last night on our show. Take a quick listen, gentlemen. Yeah, I, I think that's in the name only. Uh, the reality is that is is blurred in warfare offense and defense, uh, and they should stop using that to try to delineate and therefore make, make a decision that's favorable to them. 
Um, Senator Kramer, you know, there's no difference in wartime between offensive and defensive weapons. That's from, you know, General Keene, who knows a thing or two about warfare and military mm -hmm. strategy. But, Senator, I'm just interested. You passed a national defense bill, NDAA, which gave Israel money, weapons, and so forth. And, of course, you passed the supplemental foreign aid bill, which Biden said he wanted so desperately. Is, if Biden withholds this money, he's breaking the law at some point. He's saying the mandate, he's not spending what you want him to spend, and he's not uh, giving it to the country you designated. And to me, I, I don't know if that's sufficient grounds for impeachment, but I think it's sufficient grounds for a Senate, if you will, appropriations firestorm. Yeah, for sure. That's right, Larry. And I don't know what all the, the nuances are of that or the, you know, the specifics of the law. But you are right that when a president withholds funding after the Congress has, has uh, appropriated that funding and the president himself has signed it, uh, there's generally a process going through back through the appropriations committees or at least the leadership. None of that has taken place. This is simply a unilateral decision, a dictatorial decision mm -hmm. by the commander in chief just a couple of weeks after passing this appropriation. So I think you're right. I think that Senator Collins, Susan Collins, of course, is the ranking Republican on the Appropriations Committee. I think her and others are looking into that exact point. Yep. But either way, the president shouldn't be doing it. He should uh, get Israel what it needs as fast as possible, as much as possible. And that way, you will save lives by putting an end to this faster. Plus, you send a much better message to your adversaries and allies all over the world. And there's no point in me repeating what the best governor in America said to you just a little bit. Yes, ago sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got it. Senator Kramer, thank you ever so much.